Welcome to this Absolute Beginners Blender tutorial number eight. In this tutorial, we'll actually do some modeling. What we're going to do is we'll try it. We'll join two different shapes, a cube and a sphere. We'll change the view to orthogonal and do the front view. Here's the cube. Press the space tab to go into edit mode. And I will add a UV sphere. And I will change the number of segments and rings to, I'll have 12 segments and eight rings. Make it a little bit less complex. And I can lift it up like that. So. Now, if I go back to object mode, you can see that these two are one object. The mesh is not joined, but they're still one mesh. So what we're going to do here, we're going to join so there's a continuous skin. Um, I want to <coughs> deselect the, the spherical part and um, we'll choose the take everything, the um, selector, control, left mouse button, selects, there you go. If I'll deselect that by pressing A and I'll do that again with the other selector mode. See what happens then, then only what's visible is selected. So we'll go back to there and I'll change to select everything, even the invisible things. There you go, and here we are. So now uh, I want to subdivide this so that since I know that there are 12 divisions here, 12 segments, and the three times four is also a 12, so I want to have I want to have the same number of segments on my cube as on my sphere. So I'll do W for subdivide, and here comes you know, the number of cuts. I can choose number of cuts, and I will choose uh, uh, three, two. Then I get three on each side, which four times three is twelve. I'll change to Control Tab, change to the face mode. I'll deselect everything, change back to the only visibles. Control left mouse to lasso in these polygons. Delete those faces. Delete faces. Go back to front mode. Change back to take everything. Control left mouse. Yeah, that's good. Delete the faces. I want to move this down a little bit, just like that. And now I want to extrude a ring of edges from the cube. I do that by selecting the edge selector. Press A to deselect everything. We'll change back to visible only and press Alt and the right num right mouse button, go back to one, in other words, front view, press E for extrude, press left mouse button to get the handles. Okay, now we got a little bit skewed there, but that's fine, we'll fix that. And I'll just scale this down a little bit. So now we have somewhat of a shoulder here. Scale a little bit more like that. So, somewhat of a shoulder. And we want to put the, we call it the neck between these two. Uh, and I'll press Alt and Shift and right mouse button. And now we have two rings. If I press Alt F, uh, that didn't work. Control Z. So I can extrude this, for, I'll, I'll extrude this extrude. No, that's not what I want. I'll do Alt. Uh, 
we'll have to regret or undo some undoing. I'll extrude this a little bit further down like that and then we'll try it again. We have these two rings selected and I do Alt F and look there, there's an automatic face creation. In Blender 2.5 these would be quads since they're they're perfectly aligned. Uh, that wouldn't be a problem now. It's not fixed quite yet. It's better than it was in the early 2.5s but the 2.56 still there are some kinks. Now we're going to look at this uh, from the uh, object view. You can see that how the flat shading is. And the, the, we have chosen flat shading. We're going to select everything and choose smooth shading. Go back and there's somewhat of a lumpiness on the, in this. It's not quite what we would like to even there maybe there are even holes are just you know not right so because of this reason because of that um, I will I would rather in a small model like this instead of converting these to quads I'd rather just do this. Here we can do the box selection. We know what we don't want. This is the color here that we don't want. I'll press B for box and left mouse button and I'll get, oh, I have to choose get everything. Do it again, box. and delete faces. Now what I'll do now is just I'll just manually do this one face at a time. It's somewhat tedious but it's not that many that it's a problem. So if you just select the edges with the right mouse button and when they're selected press F then you create a face. Even if these quads are not quite, can I say, perfectly aligned, they're still going to look better than them. Triangles we had. Okay, we're back. And there seems like there's something not quite right here. And I'll take a look at this, see what that could possibly be. Uh, delete that face. Okay, there's there's something missing there. Delete that. It was one of those triangles that still were there, causing a problem. Okay, go back to object mode. It's still kind of lumpish. And I think that's because it's twisted. So what we're going to do is take it back to front view. Go back here and uh, we can take select everything. Do the box selection B. Press the B key. And go down to select. Now we're in, we will have to do that again. Or when in face mode. So, so, and what we can do now is to, to straighten this up is we can choose rotate around the Z axis. What we have selected here, rotate Z, and then kind of just move like that. There you go. Go back to object mode. Looks better, doesn't it?
So, so now we have joined two shapes. I'm going to end this tutorial here, not to take too much time. I will return to the exact same point for tutorial number nine. We'll just return to exactly where we're at now, and I'll end this tutorial here. Thank you for watching.